You're listening to the Abounding Faith for Today podcast. Inspiration for you as you walk by abounding faith, hope, and love, and live your God-given dreams. Welcome to Episode 4 of Season 3 of the Abounding Faith for Today podcast. I'm your host, Nancy Gavilanes, and I'm so happy that you could join me today. This season, I've been sharing some of my favorite psalms. I hope they've been encouraging you. Today, I'm so delighted to be sharing with you from Psalm 121. I'm going to be reading from the NIV, and today I'm going to be not only reading the psalm, but I'm also going to be sharing a prayer that I wrote based on Psalm 121. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Psalm 121, verses 1 through 8. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and your going both now and forevermore. Amen. I love this psalm for so many different reasons, including that many years ago when I was in the church choir, we sang a song based on this psalm, and I love it. I love how it reminds us that our help comes from the Lord. I love how it reminds us not to look to the right or to the left, but to look up. Our help comes from on high, the Lord on high. So I love this psalm so much that a couple of years ago when I was taking a class at a local Bible school, we were asked to write a prayer based on a psalm, and I chose Psalm 121. So I'm going to read that for you, and I hope that it blesses you. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you that all I have to do is lift up my eyes and see you. You are greater and higher than anything or anyone, and my help comes from you and you alone. You are all-powerful and matchless. You are the maker of heaven and earth. Heaven and earth belong to you. We are made by you and for you. I am never alone. You promise to not let my foot slip and to watch over me. You don't slumber or sleep, and because of that, I don't have to fear. There is never a time when you're asleep on the job. Nothing surprises you. Nothing catches you off guard. You're always watching me and my family and my loved ones. Thank you. Thank you for your divine protection. Thank you for being so mindful of me. You are my shade, no matter what season I'm in, no matter what time of day. I can trust that you are there covering me from external threats as well as protecting my inner being. Nothing is too big or too small for you to handle. What concerns me concerns you. And you are mighty to see me through anything and everything I face. You promise to keep me from harm. Nothing comes into my life without your knowledge and permission. And you're working everything together for my good. You promised to watch over all of my life. You knew me before I was in my mother's womb. You were with me when I was a child. You know everything I'm going through right now, and you already know what's in my future. You are omnipresent. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. You watch me wherever I go. You're there when I'm traveling to and from work. You're there as I'm at my job. You are here with me now, and you watch over me while I sleep. I can rest because you never rest. No matter if I'm here or traveling far, you are everywhere, not just for today, not just on good days. You are with me every day, all day long. And you will be with me when I see you face to face in heaven, where we will spend eternity together. Thank you for loving me so. Thank you for your tsunami of love, protection, grace, strength, and mercy. In you I live and move and have my being. You are God alone, and beside you there is no other. You are worthy to be praised. I love you and thank you forever, Jesus. Amen. I hope this prayer encouraged you, and I hope that when you read Psalm 121, that you will also meditate on it, memorize it if you'd like, and just let it sink in and soak in God's love. God promises to protect us. He is with us wherever we go. And whether we're awake or asleep, he watches over us. And even when storms hit, God is right there. He's closer than your next breath. I hope when you read this psalm and so many of the other psalms that you would read it as a prayer and also that you would read it as an offering to God as well. 
thanking him for his protection, thanking him for his love, thanking him for his grace and his mercy. So whatever you may be going through right now, I'd like to pray for you. I'd like to take a moment and just lift those cares and concerns up to the Lord. So Father God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, that we can go to you, Lord. We thank you that you love us, Lord. We thank you that nothing is impossible for you and you can handle every single care and concern, everything that keeps us up at night. I thank you, Lord, that you know us and you're working all things together for our good. That's your promise. I thank you that you never slumber nor sleep. I thank you that you are working, even in this situation that we're going through right now, you're working it out, Lord. You're working behind the scenes. I thank you that you do fight our battles. I thank you that we can trust you. I thank you that we never face anything alone. I thank you that you go before us. You're also our rear guard and you live inside of us and you sing over us. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father, that you have us in the palm of your hands. I thank you that no situation is too difficult for you. I thank you that we can bring everything to the foot of the cross. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for watching over us. And thank you for fighting our battles for us. Thank you that because you live, we live. Thank you that because you live, we can face tomorrow. Thank you that we can smile as we think about our future. Thank you that you're here with us today and you'll be with us in all our tomorrows. Thank you for saving us, Jesus. Thank you for redeeming us. Thank you for loving us. And thank you for using us as your vessels. We ask this all in your mighty name, Jesus. Amen. It's a joy to get to encourage you through the Psalms, and I'm looking forward to sharing another Psalm with you next time. Until then, God bless. You've been listening to the Abounding Faith for Today podcast. For more encouragement on your faith journey, visit AboundingFaith.com and follow Abounding Faith on social media.